Yeah, yeah, he does it. He's visually, he does a great job of just seeing, you know, where the open areas are, and he's very slippery as a bigger guy, uh, you know, so that's always going to pose a challenge. Uh, he does a great job getting penetration and, and also just getting into the middle of the pocket, which is something that we have to try to stop. Mike kind of talked about that broadly, like game planning for these early games with no film. Right. That you're, you're more kind of reacting. Mm -hmm. And it will, will be later. I mean, even just watching. Can you talk to the uniqueness of, of the early game where you're relying on fundamentals and technique and that's what you're playing? You know, I think I think you know when it comes down, you can still look at older film, uh, even though you have newer players. You kind of focus on who the player is, um, as a, as a, as aside from looking at the entire defense. But still, you know, you're going to see some structures. Um, there's always going to be some new wrinkles, and you have to just kind of be prepared for them through your rules. Uh, the craziest thing about these first games, first couple of games, is a lot of times you got to make adjustments on the sideline. It's about how do you execute those adjustments on the sideline and be able to uh, to give you a chance to win the game. Uh, you know, I think that he said that perfectly because, you know, you always want to look for improvement. I, I think improvement is, is huge. And for us, you know, as long as we're constantly trying to get better, we're always going to end up raising the expectations. Given the, just, I guess, the expectations that are surrounding this team specifically and what you guys Oh, uh, we don't pay attention to that. That's not something that we pay attention to. We have to block out that noise because as long as we're focused on us, then, then we'll be, continue to improve. As soon as we start listening to what's going on outside, we could lapse and, and we could relax too often. Mike was saying, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mike was saying, you know, he expects you guys to get Nate Davis nah, back, get Jones back, um, you know, kind of I mean, out that starting line. Just how excited are you guys just to, uh, you know, kind of get the whole group together as you guys, you know, head into the season? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's great. We, You know, people are here to, to, to play the game. So, you know, when we got injuries, man, we're always looking to get them back. Uh, thank, thank God that we got, you know, Nate and Ben able to come back. Uh, before this first game, and then it just comes from just you know following those protocols and just making sure that whatever we do, we get those guys on the field and we and we continue to support them so they can continue playing hard. Um, you know, I'm just excited to get everybody on there. You know, getting this whole offense together is something that we haven't really been able to see for a plethora of different reasons. Nobody's fault, but just having those guys back out there, I think, you know, just as a cohesive unit, I mean, we go out there and we try to be as efficient as possible, and having the right guys out there is how we're going to do it. You said at Tampa, even if you didn't have everybody together during all this time, the game feels tough. Right. That kind of the universal thinking. Yeah, it's almost a mantra out here. And, you know, I think that we've shown that it's happened here and there in a few different games, and we've been able to still come out and win games. You know, very proud of the people that we've that's had to step in and step up, and we've shown that we've had success through that. So we have to continue thinking that way.